Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So we're back for some more Undead Unluck episode 8 here today. Previous episode was absolutely fantastic, and I wanted to thank you guys so much for being patient with me and explaining to me the whole situation that was going on, because uh, I kept on wondering, why are their numbers going up? Like, their, you know, spoil uh, countdown, you know? Like, why is it going up? Like, what's going on? And it totally went over my head multiple times. The episode was literally called Dream went over my head the teacher literally explained it although to be fair i didn't think she meant it literally but she did say as long as you have a dream you won't spoil you know and it totally went over my head so thank you guys so much for explaining it to me in the comment section i'm human after all i make mistakes you know sometimes so i really appreciate you guys for being patient with me and explaining to me what was going on so practically if you have a dream you won't spoil so that's why fuko mentioned her dream is to be a normal girl and uh, live her life to the fullest and as for shen um, you know, his dream is to be the strongest being in existence. And a couple of you pointed out in the comment section, which I noticed, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. But his number literally went up to 9,999. So I don't know if that's like a foreshadowing of, you know, him becoming, you know, strong like later on and everything. But uh, that's crazy, bro. But uh, now that they practically have figured out, you know, um, uh, a way to counter uh, Spoil's ability, I wonder now if they'll be able to defeat him, you know, and uh, what the repercussions for that is going to be, because some of you in the comment section, when you were explaining to me the whole concept of the UMA thing, uh, you know, they practically govern the rules of this particular world, so if, like, they kill Spoil, like, will, you know, that whole concept of things spoiling and decaying just disappear from this world entirely? Like, I wonder what the repercussions for that is going to be once they do take down Spoil. I mean, the whole you know plan is to capture it you know so i don't know I mean, but andy did say that maybe they might kill it now so i don't know i don't know what's going to happen but i'm excited to find out and see how things play out but uh yeah i really appreciate you guys for explaining to me the whole concept of uh you know why the numbers were going up and everything so uh yeah that's enough of the recap cannot wait to jump in and see how things play out with this particular episode so i've spoken enough without any further ado let's jump right in. The beacon for a counterattack. What is Shen's ability? We need to know, bro. What is his UN ability? You know, creation? Crazy. Bro, look at that. 10k? That's crazy. Yo! It's going even higher, bro! Is that 50k or something? Even above that! Damn! He's figured it out. Spoil brought its face near to Fuku earlier, but yeah, she didn't like, you know, start spoiling, which I wonder... Does that have to do with them figuring out his uh, how to counter his ability? You know, like since now they they know like if you have a dream, you won't spoil. I wonder. My guess is that its spoil field is generated oh around its body, and since the head was close to Fuku, I see. So it has nothing to do with uh the, the you know the having a dream. I guess okay. She wasn't close to his body. I see. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. No more weakness. I see. Okay. That's where this artifact comes in, the Nyoi Kinko staff. That's a Nyoi. Is bro, hold up. Is this a power pull? Nyoi Kinko Nara. No way. It is a power pull. Okay, freaking Sun Wukong. Bro, is Goku out here? <laughs> From Journey to the West, yeah. Wow, he actually has a power pull. No way! Artifact. Nyoikinko. Nyoikinko staff. Excavated from China, this bow staff can expand and um, uh, contract at will. It's cr crazy. Shin literally has a powerful bro. I guess now I can fight it at a distance. Damn! 
Oh, his body is approaching. He's using his ability. What is his UN ability? Damn, again! Shen's ability acts on a target in his field of vision. Okay, he has to be looking at it, okay? Which forces the target to perform the opposite of any action he was trying to make. So if I'm trying to run away from Shen, you know, and that's like my thought process, like he'll counter that and make me move towards him, practically? But how does he do it? What is his UN ability? Damn, that power pull is coming in clutch, bro. Any conscious thought in... But what is his negating ability? However, to activate this um, activity, a certain condition... Okay. Bro, he is beating spoiled ass. Must be subconsciously fulfilled by the user? Okay. What's the condition? The user must be fond of his... Whoa, 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 whoa. So you have to like... You know, doesn't fond mean like like a person? So he has to like a person in order for his power to work? A core within the body, okay. Well, I'd love to pluck it out and um, any living being that gets close to him will spoil, so practically Andy has to be the one to do it. Damn, he's beating his ass, bro. He deactivated its beam. A glitch? Wow. <laughs> Clearly it's working. <laughs> Untruth? So that's his ability? Okay. So does he like, you know, the concept of truth in a person's mind, does he like mess with that practically? Like, if I believe I want to run away from Shen, he will counter that and make me, you know, practically approach him? Is that the concept? Maybe you guys can feel free to break it down for me more in the comment section. In untruth, okay. Finally be able to see Victorth. I see. that He mentioned that a while back in a couple of episodes ago when they were driving in the truck. That's what he said to Fuko, if I'm not mistaken, right? This episode, looking to be fire. Let's see how this goes. Damn, bro. I can't believe he has a power pull, bro. That is so cool. Bacteria in the air, okay. How would they do that? Take away the moisture from the air. He's pinching her belly? I want to use our unluck. Food tastes wait what? Shane! <laughs> Damn! Our unlock split the ground. Uh -oh. Yo! So he's trying to hide from Shen? Yo, that power pull is coming in clutch, bro. Bro's doing the helicopter spin with it. You love to see it. Space. Space is a vacuum and devoid of moisture, so nothing would spoil there. So they want to take him to space? I guess practically... If I'm thinking about it, the only way they'd be able to do that is unless Shen's power pole can extend all the way to space. I don't think Shen or Fuko would. Andy, maybe? Because he can't die. So, Andy. Card? The old him? The victor in this case, I'm assuming? To keep a hundred years worth of memories bottled up, I see. 
Stipulations? So he has some conditions? What are the conditions? Wait, is he not gonna tell us the conditions? This is exactly what Shen wanted, right? He wanted to see Victor. That, that's what he was talking to Fuku about a couple episodes ago. So he wants to see this version of Andy. Bro, charging up a freaking. Damn! Got him. Oh, he's taking out the pin. He better win. Bro. Yo, that's crazy, man. Well, there they go. This is what Shen wanted to see. Bro, I'm hyped, bro. The man who once brought victory to countless battlefields? Show him! Show him to me! Damn. Did this man just go Super Saiyan 3? Yo, look at his hair, it's longer. He regenerated so quickly. His regeneration is a lot faster. Yo! He can regenerate other bodies from separated parts? What the hell? Whoa! He's slicing them up. Yo! Looks like he got the core. A little fun? Bro, he sliced and diced him. Nah, yo, okay. So this is the victor that Chen has been talking about this whole time? Sad that all the townspeople had to die. They're practically the only ones left, bro. Enough to see it. Mui coming in clutch. Damn. That must be the core that has just landed, right? Of Spoil's head? I figure. Brian is regenerating from that part. What the hell? Nah. This version of Andy is built different, bro. I can already tell. Look at him. He's a lot more buff. Wait, am I tripping? Or does he have like more scars on him too? Bro, what is hair? Bro, has literally gone Super Saiyan 3. Look at him. You love to see it. Yo. Nah, okay. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what he does next now, bro. I'm here. Let's go. Who knew Andy had this locked away inside him, bro? Wait, he's gonna fight him? Wait, is that what Andy meant when he said you better win? So now that uh, this version of Victor, I'm guessing, is out, so Shen has to fight him? Half decent lineup. What is this? It's, it's less like his memories are back, but more like he... Yeah, he's, he sounds... He's like an entirely different person. So this is an entirely different personality, practically? So Andy's like locked away in his mind, and this is like, you know, I, I guess it's akin to Itadori and Sukuna in a sense, you know? It's like when Sukuna comes out, he's a totally different, you know, it's Sukuna, you know? But when it's Itadori, it's Itadori. So I guess in this case, it's sort of similar? <laughs> What? So Fuku's fault. Yo, he's huge. God of victory? So his name is Victor, a human. I'm not Thor. God of thunder. 
Damn! He broke his arm! What? He's so strong that his limbs break each time he strikes? That's insane, bro! What the hell? People unconsciously exercise a level of control in the interest of self-preservation, but he doesn't care because he'll heal either way. He's broken free of that. That's With one life to live? Oh my god! Now Victor is built different, bro. This is an entirely different person. Will her unlock work on him? I guess not. Damn, Shan. Wait, well, you like the target. Paltry rule? I guess it's not working because he's an entirely different person. Nah, this guy's built different, bro. Oh no. Oh, and fall in love too. Come on, Andy, fight it. But to be honest with you, I kind of want to let Victor, you know, run wild and see what happens, you know? But I mean, the moral thing here is to tell Andy to fight, right? So he got to fight so that we can, you know, be okay. Damn. He's so happy to lose. Wow, I love Shen. He's too weak. Oh, the promises. Protect the brat, okay? Fuko. Damn! Eight cycle mountain strike? He's stalling for time. Beat me? So that was the second promise, I see. Oh? They brought the whole- he brought the whole union here? Whoa! Bro, he's that strong? Shen had to call the whole union. Oh, bro, I need to see this fight. Let's go. Bro, his hands growing bigger? Tatiana? Damn, okay, she shielded everybody. All right, Billy, what's up? Okay. He's part of the offense. Nico? Damn! What did he do? Your, 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 your regeneration slows considerably, uh, considerably, I cannot, considerably when the cut sections are burned. I can't speak right. So because that slash had a, was a burn slash, he can't regenerate. Wait, what? What did he say? I didn't fiddle with your body for 10 years. So he's the one who experimented on him. I see. Wow, no wonder he knows about the the regeneration. Okay, Nico. But I'm not Andy. I'm Victor. You just regenerate from that finger? Bro. Ishin, okay. Amateur? Damn. If you value... Damn! What the heck, bro? This man is built different. I'm gonna need to see this, bro. Will Juiz be able to beat him? Because she's the strongest, right? She's number one. Rest in peace, Gina. Bro. I'm gonna need to see this, bro. Ah, I feel like the episode is gonna end, man. This is hype. I 
knew it. I freaking knew it, bro. Oh, things are getting so good, too. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That was a fantastic episode, man. So practically, like I said, I compared the whole, you know, Andy and Victor thing to practically Itadori and Sukuna. You know, it's like two different people entirely, you know? And Victor appears to be built different, bro. Yo, he literally can regenerate from the smallest part of his body. Like, shoots a finger, regenerates into that. For, like, bro, I can't wait to see this fight between him and the Union, man. And, you know, more importantly, whether Jewies will be able to beat him, you know? Because, I mean, she's the strongest. She's number one. But, I mean, the fact that they brought the entire Union here to take him down just goes to show how much of a badass Victor is, bro. I can't wait to see how this all plays out, man. So that's what Shen was talking about, you know? Now he's seen, you know, Victor in the flesh, bro. And he packed him up. Bro, his punchers are so strong, they literally d dislocate his, his, in, his body. Like... His bones, that's insane to me. Like, I mean, he doesn't have to worry about holding back because he'll heal anyway, you know? Like, the power of his attacks are just that crazy until they break his bones. That is wild to me, bro. That is entirely wild to me. But at least they were able to stop Spoil, got the core. So I guess the re reward for that, if I'm not mistaken, was like the location of Unrepair, right? So, you know, hopefully, I guess Apocalypse will let them know about that. Um, but first, they have to deal with the problem at hand, which is stopping Victor, you know, and getting Andy back. But part of me, like I said, doesn't want Victor to go back. I kind of want him to go ham and kill everyone. I'm just messing. But I can't wait to see how this Union thing is going to go. Him versus the Union? I'm here, bro. I'm absolutely here. But guys, if you did enjoy my reaction, in this episode of undead unlock episode 8 i'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel really does help out a lot also give it your thumbs up for the hype of undead and unlock i really appreciate that too also make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos live streams or walkthroughs you can also feel free to follow me on my social media twitter and instagram links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video you can also feel free to join our discord link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well you can also feel free to become a patreon or a channel member by clicking a link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy and you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos but until then guys please do me a favor take care of each other peace out have a lovely weekend and i'll see you guys next time